We're at the State House this afternoon. There are three big issues on the agenda for lawmakers, and all of them involve money. We're talking about a multi million dollar soccer stadium, gaming, and an average wage for construction workers. Our political reporter, Kevin Rader, joins us live from the State House. He's got the breakdown on all three. Hi, Kevin. Yeah, it's interesting, Scott, as we stand here at noon, the House of Representatives, Republicans are right now in caucus back there. There are only 12 bills on the docket, and yet one of these must be causing a long caucus, some consternation here. We'll have more on that in a minute. Three bills of particular interest before we reach halftime of this long legislative session. The House still has to vote up or down on the proposed $82 million soccer stadium for the Indy 11. That stadium would seat over 18,000 people and be paid for by sales and ticket taxes generated by by the stadium. There was some action on the bill yesterday, however. On second read, it showed lawmakers are uncomfortable with this deal. That put an amendment in forcing the Indy 11 to guarantee to pay back at least half the cost of that stadium. And as Scott pointed out, the House is also expected to take some action today on gaming. It will decide if it wants to okay the state's riverboats move to on land, from the boats to on land, and allow live dealers for table games at two of the state's casinos located in Shelbyville. And in Anderson. Governor Mike Pence opposes the live dealers. He sees it as an expansion of gaming in the state of Indiana. But Republicans in the House of Representatives disagree with him. And we'll find out for sure today who's uh, on boat or who's on land on this issue. Scott? And Kevin, is there any news coming out of the Senate today on common construction wage? There is. Now, we're almost at halftime. That's where the bills cross over. House bills go to the Senate. Senate bills go to the House. So today, uh, Senate President Pro Tem David Long did announce, Scott, that there will be a hearing on the repeal, proposed appeal, repeal of the common construction wage in Indiana. There was some speculation that maybe it would go to the Senate and just die a uh, silent death and not get heard. That's not the case. Uh, the uh, Senate President President Pro Tem says he wants to have more information and a hearing in the Senate. And again, Scott, we'll have to keep you posted here as uh, how long Republicans are still caucusing over what bill might be going down in flames in these 12. We'll have that for you tonight on Eyewitness News uh, at uh, 5 and 6 and on WTHR.com. Reporting live at the State House, Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. All right, Kevin, thanks.